Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the 150 motor that is pushing the Manitou pontoon boats. Uh, if you're not aware, BRP has purchased Manitou, so they, uh, they now own the line. And they are adding this Rotax motor to many of their boats. The beauty of the Rotax 150 or 115 um, is that you'll get the max deck. So when you're on the boat, you have a four foot swim platform and the motor's really never in the way of anything you want to do. So you get an additional four feet of real estate up top without having an intrusive outboard motor on the back of your pontoon. So let's talk a little bit more specifically about some details of this Rotax and some of the common questions that I get uh, when we're on the water. So the 150 Rotax motor is a two stroke. To some people that's a hurdle in itself. Uh, I wouldn't be too concerned. The ETEC platform is well proven and basically under here is a Evinrude power plant which has been proven for many, many, many years. So the actual engine components under here are not necessarily new per se. Um, the, the main difference is if you were to look at this from the side, you, a normal outboard would stand up and you've got your lower unit on the bottom. This one, they took the, the power head of the outboard, if you will, and rotated it at 90 degrees. Your flywheel is actually right here if you were to take this cover off. It goes into a, I'll call it a transfer case, a gearbox, and then that transfers the power directly down into the lower unit. Again, much of even the lower unit components are even the same as the old outboards. So the reality of it is, is while everyone's kind of freaking out about how this thing is looks because it's new, um, a lot of the components inside are not new. So this shroud that goes on here, um, it is completely watertight. Um, I've actually had the opportunity to talk directly with the engineers who made this. Fortunately, they are not even but an hour away from us here uh, over the border in Wisconsin. So I had a, a cool opportunity to learn a ton about these. Uh, these were actually tested on the chain of lakes uh, right here in our backyard where, where we take this. And um, they put these things through some rigorous, rigorous testing. And uh, I'll get to that in a second. So how this works is a lot of times, a lot of this is underwater. This is sealed. There actually is an air pump inside to keep uh, air pressure inside. So if, if exhaust or anything were to try to back feed in, it can't. Um, so they've really thought about the water intrusion. There are sensors on the bottom where if there were for whatever reason to get water inside, it will sense it and it will limit the motor accordingly depending on the, what's going on. There is also a water pickup in the bottom. If there is condensation inside, it will actually pick it up and pump that water out. Again, they've kind of thought about all of the situations. Um, this obviously is, is sealed. Uh, the beauty of this is with this outboard, I'll call it an outboard, with this drive system, you don't have to really do any maintenance for 500 hours. So that includes uh, pretty much anything. So they're telling you 500 hours. Some people don't even own their boats for 500 hours. So if you think about that for a second, when it comes to winterizing it, we'll show you inside, you literally put a, push a button on your dash and it actually self winterizes. So let's say you're going to get some cold weather and you're going to winterize, but you decide, hey, we got an Indian summer, we're going to go out and we want to put the boat back in the water. You put it back in the water when you get back, you push the button and self winterize it again. So that's that's a huge feature. So it does come standard with a four blade stainless steel prop. Um, again, this is much like your traditional outboard lower unit. You've got your water pick up here. Um, you know, don't overthink this thing. The real difference is that they move the power head from here to here. Uh, otherwise, uh, it, it's quiet. It handles very nicely. When you trim the motor up, obviously it sits pretty high on this bunk trailer, but when you trim it up, you can just trim it up and it's got these plastic slides on here as well as on the back of the motor and uh, it'll just ride right up. And if you want to put your trailer lock or your transom lock down, you can put it down and then you can lower it back down on that. Uh, but you can definitely trim it up out of the way uh, depending on your needs. I should mention that this motor will not trim down if it's turned too far to the left or too, too far to the right. So if you're trying to trim your motor down and you're having a hard time or it just trims down in small little increments, bring your motor, bring your, your, uh, your motor more towards the center and it will trim down. There's a sensor in there that so when you're up, it won't, it won't, 
hit on the sides left or right. So it's got to be at least somewhat centered before it'll trim down. So again, the inside of this, this whole unit basically is, is sealed and it's its own ecosystem, if you will. There's a literally a intake tube and it goes up the, the center of the boat. Intake of the air for that motor basically comes in from the inside of the boat back in here. The air comes in through a hose and down into here. So again, talking with these engineers in some of their testing, as long as it has that fresh air intake, the snorkel, if you will, which it obviously always will from a boat, they put this thing 15 feet underwater and it was running and they had the, the snorkel coming above. So, you know, people are concerned about it being waterproof. Uh, it really is. You can take this cover off if you'd like to. Um, there, are, there, is a, um, there is a certain torque spec to putting the bolts back on, but it's basically a gasketed system. And there's actually through uh, the diagnostic ports and through the air pump we talked, in, we talked about earlier, there's actually a test. You can test it and it'll pump itself full of, of air and look for leaks uh, on its own. So again, they've thought of all of these, uh, of these hurdles and these things that they probably knew they were gonna be up against. Um, but again, this is, uh, it's super unique and I think it's just something so new to the market, which you got to give BRP uh, that. They're very innovative on all their products and they kind of put their neck out and take that one step uh, leap of faith a little bit. So um, I think this is going to be a huge, a huge takeoff for them. And uh, so we'll go inside, we'll show you what you get with the Max Deck platform. And um, if you have any questions about the Rotex, uh, please let us know. Like and subscribe. Watch our other videos for all the details on the Manitou pontoon boats. Thanks.